Today's commerce depends on efficient air transportation. All over the world, transports come and go at all hours, carrying more passengers and more freight than ever before. The airline companies providing this service have invested billions of dollars in modern equipment and the crews who fly them. These flight crews are carefully picked and highly trained. Schedules, safety, all aspects of flight operations depend on their skill. However, if all crew training had to be done in actual flight, training costs, already high, would skyrocket. In order to dramatically minimize non-revenue flights, the airline industry widely accepted the use of training simulators. Until now, however, these simulators were used mostly as instrument trainers, lacking one vital element to more complete training, a useful out-the-window view. That had to wait for the maturing of visual simulation. McDonnell Douglas Electronics Company of St. Charles, Missouri materially reduced the cost of visual simulation with a unique product designed to be installed on existing or new flight simulators. It is a computer-generated visual system called Vital 2. Vital 2 is a totally new concept in visual simulation. A simulator equipped with Vital 2 can be used for almost all phases of flight training. The prototype Vital 2 was installed at the modern simulation training facility of Pacific Southwest Airlines in San Diego late in 1971. Following successful evaluation by PSA pilots and by the Federal Aviation Administration, Vital 2 went into production. The first production unit entered training service also at PSA in January 1973. Vital 2 is the first computed image visual system to achieve full approval by the FAA for airline pilot training. The visual image is generated entirely by solid state electronics within a single cabinet. Thus, Vital 2 reliability is much greater than that achieved by the more complex techniques of television or motion pictures. In a simulator equipped with Vital 2, the flight instructor has a powerful and flexible aid for providing the proper training environment. Okay, Chuck, we're coming up on the auto marker. Take the gear down. Landing gear going down. Take flap 30. And we better check the landing check. Landing check. And a uh, skid? Normal. Ignition switch, on, no smoking sign, on. The computer generates down, a highly three, three. realistic out-the-window simulation 30. of aircraft flight. A correct perspective of the airport is produced from any aircraft attitude or from any position within 40 miles of an airport. Okay. Image resolution is eight times greater than that of ordinary closed-circuit color television. Below 500 feet, Chuck, uh, give me altitudes. Okay. Five hundred, down five. All occupants of the simulator are afforded a clear view of the outside scene. Good. You're too fast and looks like you're high over the middle marker. I'm going to reset you back over the outer marker. When the simulated aircraft okay, is reset to a new again. position, a corresponding new visual scene is presented immediately. 
There is no waiting for the rewinding of film or the repositioning of cameras. Check again, please. Okay, anti-skid, normal. Ignition switch, on. No smoking sign, on. Flap 40. Landing gear down, three green. Okay. Five hundred down seven. Four hundred. Little marker. Three hundred. Two hundred down seven. Exact perspective, even close to touchdown, provides the pilot with correct visual cues so that skills learned in the simulator can be transferred directly to real-world operations. This particular exercise represented a night landing on runway 09 at San Diego. Many different airport scenes can be shown with the same equipment. The stored computer program can simulate totally different airports and surrounding city lights by the throw of a switch. The number of airports that can be simulated is without limit and any eight can be stored in the visual equipment for instant selection by the instructor. Multiple runways, even crossing runways, can be displayed. And any runway presented is operationally usable. For specialized military applications, even aircraft carrier training can be performed. All with the same equipment, only the programs are different. Just as the airports and surrounding cities can be varied, so can the lighting environment of individual runways. Different runway lighting patterns and approach lighting configurations can be programmed and stored. Runway lengths and widths can be varied to train for different route structures. The image is displayed to the pilot by means of equipment mounted in front of the simulator windshield. Using a virtual image optical system combined with a color cathode ray tube, the airport scene is presented with a realistic feeling of depth so that correct visual cues are presented to all occupants of the simulator. The excellence of the presentation has led to overwhelming acceptance by training pilots and line pilots alike. The image displayed to the cockpit is actually generated by a computer situated nearby. This small unit can be easily located in existing simulator facilities. Neither additional space nor added manpower is required to accommodate and maintain the total system. Vital 2 was designed to be self-contained so that it can be installed with ease on almost any flight simulator, new or existing. The display units weigh less than 300 pounds each, so they can be attached with a small support structure without overtaxing simulator motion systems. Vital 2 and the host simulator computer are electrically connected by this small unit. Only a small part of this interface panel need be custom designed to match any given simulator. With the Vital 2 system, specialized training for hazardous maneuvers can be done without danger in the simulator and repeated as needed. Rejected takeoffs can be realistically practiced. Seventy knots. Fire on number two. Abort. Kill number two. Call the tower until we have a. Fire on number two and go ahead and fire the bottle. Other hazardous maneuvers include engine cuts on takeoff, two engine out landings, rejected landings, and zero flap approaches. While the visual display is essentially controlled by the aircraft simulator, 
certain visual scene parameters can be independently varied using the remote control unit mounted at the instructor station. With this small panel, the instructor can change airport and weather parameters. Intensities of the runway lights and the approach lights can be separately set to any one of five levels or turned off completely. The sequenced flasher or the strobe lights can be turned on or off, as can the visual glide slope or VASI. Simulated weather situations are selected by means of two additional instructor controls. One for RVR, or visibility, in 100-foot increments, and the other for ceiling height in 10-foot increments. These different situations can be combined to form a powerful Category 2 or Category 3 training tool. The low visibility scene is very realistic with Vital 2 because the intensity of each light, as seen by the pilot, is individually computed according to its apparent distance away and the selected RVR condition. Vital 2 is designed to be flexible enough to allow various combinations of the same equipment modules to satisfy different training needs. In a single display configuration, training for single place aircraft is achieved. Most transport applications require a dual display. And by adding display units around to the side of the cockpit, the field of view can be extended so that the airport is kept in view during circling approaches. The computer technology has enabled Vital 2 right now to satisfy most of today's training needs. This same technology will grow to meet the even more sophisticated training needs of the future. Vital 2 not only does the job better, it does it for about half or less the price of TV model type systems. Approved by FAA, it is available now for easy installation on any simulator cockpit. Vital 2 can substantially reduce non-revenue aircraft flights by increasing the performance capability of any training simulator and will assure the best possible cockpit instructions.